And this afternoon, we are hearing from the company that owns the building where 10 young people were shot at a Halloween party on Sunday. They said they had no idea the party was happening and that the business where it happened violated its lease agreement. They say, quote, we regret that the former tenant allowed the misuse of the property at least to become the site of the tragic events of last Sunday. And the statement comes as the grandfather of one of the victims is calling for justice for his grandson and all of the other young victims too. Our Emily Longnecker talked with a man who says he experienced the pain of violence in his family more than once. He lives in Chicago, but Andrew Holmes found himself on Indy's north side Thursday, gazing at a bullet hole in a window. A sign of the gunfire that erupted at a Halloween party where his grandson Terrell was at Sunday. Holmes, who is a community activist and crisis responder in Chicago, was on his way to a shooting there when he got the call that Terrell had been shot. I didn't want to answer that call. I knew it was something wrong because almost about the same time I got the call about my daughter. This isn't the first time Holmes has been touched personally by gun violence. When it hits home, it hits home. And it Eight dang. years ago, he got a similar call about his daughter, Terrell's mother, being shot and killed here in Indianapolis. When that happened, Holmes told his grandson, who was already playing football, to keep going. I told him, just keep fighting because she's always there in spirit with you on that field. She's always running behind you. Now, Holmes has words of comfort for another family here in Indianapolis impacted by gun violence. Thursday, he met with the mother of the teen found shot to death behind this east side apartment complex. Yeah, I believe they're going to close it. Her family contacted Holmes' organization, the Lock It Down Foundation, asking for help to find her. Yesterday, we got the news that they found her remains. So I told her, I'm still coming. I'm going to put up a reward to help catch the killer of that baby. Now, Holmes is helping get the word out about the teen's death, hoping someone will have answers for another family looking for justice. Just in case anyone has any information. With all the gun violence Holmes sees, many times involving young people both in Chicago and now again in his own family, he's got a message for parents. You have to get inside your children's life. You just can't get there and say, I love you. Again, IMPD has no update on a suspect or suspects. In this case, Andrew Holmes is hoping that money talks and will help someone come forward with information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in this case. On the North Side, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.